integrated humidification dehumidification desalination and air conditioning with heat recovery it is basically about poly generation that is producing desalinated water and comforters so the initial plan was to use solar power and make it grid independent as is shown in this design where in the solar pv panels powered the ac and solar water heater produced hot water for humidification So after iterations, this was the final plan for the analytical model, wherein the ambient air is taken in by the induced draft fans and passed through the condensers for preheating of air, which increases its capacity to carry more water vapor. The hot water is sprayed out in cross flow through plastic fills for the humidification process. This highly humid air passes through the evaporator to yield desalinated water undergoing dehumidification. Dehumidified air is then reheated by the hot water flow rate to desired comfort condition before the first draft fan takes the air to the space to be conditioned. And the experimental project was developed on this basis and wherein you can see the induced draft fan is followed by the condenser and then the fills and the compressor part wherein you can see this is a compressor and the uh, evaporator which was not connected before it was just the initial stage of fabrication later on the radiator which is actually the heat exchanger which allows the hot water to exchange heat before uh, providing it to comfort condition atmosphere So the gas was charged and the uh, test run was done, later the insulation was uh, done which is the final shield and the cover and uh, resulted in the final structure as is. As said earlier, this is the induced draft fan followed by the condenser of VCR system and the plastic fills having shower system to ensure that the water is transformed into sprinkles, increasing the surface area and using it to vaporize, followed by the screen layer between the clean and selenited water section and the evaporator and then the heat exchanger and FT fan. The fan regulators were attached to measure the influence of air velocity on uh, the desalinated water output. This is the compressor and it is well shielded. And this is the water flow meter measuring the water flow rate to the heat exchanger ensuring the comfort conditions. There is another water flow meter measuring the hot water flow rate to the humidification section which is calculated to understand the relation between hot water flow rate to the desalinated water output. So the solar power water heater was uh, changed to electric water heater. This is the pipe connecting the humidifying section to the outlet. Uh, actually it is a open cycle heating. There was a need of two properties to track down this process on psychometric chart, which was temperature, that is DVT driver temperature, and uh, relative humidity for the same, which was being measured as shown. So the complete system was uh, run with the uh, lid open to understand the leakages and to clear them off as soon as possible. You can see this is the desalinated section. You can see desalinated water coming out here. The left side here is the salinated section. The lid was placed and the first set of readings was taken. Temperatures, air velocities, desalinated water output. This is the desalinated water output coming out. Uh, you can see this is the little way and set of readings taken using the measuring flask. So 
this was the first set of results where an 800 ml of desalinated water was generated in 15 minutes. Now this is the psychometric chart for the air conditioning part of the building. So the results obtained were a desalinated water output of 3.2 LPH and comfort conditions of 24 degrees Celsius and 55 percent age relative humidity was achieved and uh, the experimental results were matching the analytical and uh, simulated results. Thank you.